in the interim there, I have managed to compose myself. I'm back with Kerry and Tom from Slayer at Donington, you know by now. And uh, I was wondering, how did you um, tailor your set specifically for Donington? Was it really just like greatest hits type, type scenario? It was more like we had 45 minutes and we had to figure best 45, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> we, we put as many songs as we could get in there. And yeah. we, we only gave Tom three chances to talk in between songs right. so we could play more tunes. You know, we did no encores. We just rolled songs together, you know, because in that festival situation, we, we want to play as many tunes as we can. Mm -hmm. So it's just like full on, really aggressive, it was straight ahead. Completely full on. Well, That's what we love. We Balls like out. We like going out there and just going, <laughs> thanks, good night. You know? All right. Um, how, how have you translated your live show to a larger outdoor stage and obviously a much broader audience? I mean, how, how do you maintain that intensity, you know, that you do enjoy in, like, smaller venues? Doesn't matter if we play in a club. You just do 70, it. 70,000, we do the same thing every show. Yeah, yeah you just do it. You go, out, you go out and do it. It's okay if I fart. Yeah. <laughs> do it. It's Mikey. rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really just the same attitude for, for yeah. every show that every you play. Show is the same. You go out there and you just do it and hope that nothing fucks up. Would you regard this as one of like the biggest challenges of your career so far? It's a show. Mm -hmm. It's just the biggest show I've ever done. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome is the is the word of the day, I think. Apart from breathing. Nail them up. <laughs> at least at least when we played it was awesome. I didn't see everybody, but when we played, we just raged. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, as I said earlier, you guys were meant to have some time off. How are you getting on writing the next uh, Slayer album? Well, we're going home tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we're going home tomorrow, going so tomorrow. after three weeks, we'll probably start trying, you know, because we had to work Paul in. So writing stuff took, like, a back seat for a while. Mm -hmm. I started coming up with things, and then we started working with Paul, and we had to get things right for the tour. Mm -hmm. You know, now we'll go home and really get into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of, like, world events going on, very serious stuff happening in the world. Do you think that's going to influence the next album? Not me, but when he writes, I'm sure it will. <laughs> Eric. Oh. oh! Oh! Okay, all right, all right. Okay, okay so okay. you're going home, no. you're going to start the ri writing the next album. No. And then. I will. Yeah. Well, okay, Kerry will. All right, all right, okay. Well, that's all we've got oh, time for. Okay. <laughs> that's all we've got time for from Slayer, thank goodness. <laughs> so I think I'd better let them get on and party because these guys deserve it. Totally awesome, great show, and. Uh, <laughs> there you go. You go are going to see more of it now on the Headbangers Ball, and then after the next commercial break, in complete contrast to Slayer, I will be back with Thunder. But here you go with more complete. live Slayer. <laughs> <laughs>